Hey everybody, it's Pierce here with Electric Bike Report here at Sea Otter 2021 and we are here with Jocelyn, the head marketer for North America for Bosch. Um, Jocelyn, it looks like you have quite the bike behind <laughs> us right here. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about what this bike is? Sure. So the bike we have here is in celebration of our 10 year anniversary, which actually was last year. Um, so now finally having a chance to show it to more people now that events are back. But the idea behind this bike was really to help celebrate where we've come from in the 10 years of developing um, systems for the now close to 100 brands globally. The idea behind this really is just to ask the question, what if? Like, what if uh, your your bike for getting to work to and from work looked like this? It'd be yeah. pretty fun, right? Yeah. So that's the idea behind it. So yeah, it wasn't really meant to demonstrate any particular technology, but more of an overall um, experience that would really help people get out of the cars more. Mm -hmm. And you guys have been very well established in a lot of different industries. Specifically, I heard you mention how you have over 600 employees for your uh, electric bike team now. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit more about how the electric bike side of things is going for Bosch? Um, well, yeah, like I said, celebrated 10 years. So it was born out of our automotive division. Um, the thing that's really cool about Bosch, it's been around over 130 years now. Yeah. and. The way the company has grown to this size is because one of the, the pillars of the organization is research, development, innovation, trying new things. And so, yeah, the, the team that um, dreamed up e-bikes um, really, yeah, came out of supporting um, the automotive industry. And then, of course, we were able to pull our uh, battery technology from power tools. Um, we have a huge sensor technology business, everything from everyone's cars, most cell phones have Bosch sensors in it. So we were able to pull on these, like, just absolute over a hundred years, not even just decades, over a hundred years of of uh, innovations to be able to to be really impactful in the e-bike space. Totally, and it does seem like since you have been in so many industries, Bosch as a whole, that you're able to pick things from some of those industries and apply them to things like e-bikes that are a little bit newer than some of these other technologies you've been working on. And I think that's pretty clear to see with what Bosch is doing. Bosch is one of those mid-drive motors that is definitely going to be a step ahead of the curve relative to some other brands. And it's because of all these things that Jocelyn's mentioned. They're very well established and not just in the e-bike space, in technology as a whole. So I'm kind of hoping my bike is going to look like this in the future. Um, as far as this being a conceptual bike goes, I'm just really hoping that I have this bike in the future. Um, hopefully it's rideable and I love what you guys are doing so far. I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah, so. I mean, like there is a lot of things on this bike that is actually usable today. Like for example, the Nyon um, computer that's on here, that's in the market today. That's touchscreen, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's touchscreen, it's full color, navigation, connected, you name it. And wow. so um, it really is meant to like integrate into the life we're already living, very connected lives. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, like I said, a lot is already available today, but yeah, more, more meant as a way to, to celebrate the future of what's to come in urban mobility. Very cool. Well, I appreciate your time, Jocelyn. Congratulations on that 10 year anniversary, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are producing in the future. Yeah. So Thank you. we'll see you guys next uh, interview.